the Yellowstone franchise has delivered time and again. 1883 has been another classic addition to their storyline. After an emotionally charged finale, 1883 fans were left heartbroken, but also wanted more from the show. However, before we talk about 1932, it's important to recap some things that happened in 1883 and the ways in which it all connects to Yellowstone. First up, James and John Dutton. Fighting for family legacy is something that's been common throughout the history of the Dutton family. John Dutton from Yellowstone is a brutal man, and we've grown to realize that he'll stop at nothing in keeping hold of the ranch and not letting anyone take it away from his family. James Dutton, though, might just be a much more brutal man than even John, as he leads the pack in hope of making fortune at the frontier. James has that sense of lawlessness that encapsulates the Old West and its unforgiving nature as he guns down a group of highwaymen all by himself, not to mention how he shoots at a pickpocket in front of many eyewitnesses. John's cut from the same cloth, as expected, but, of course, getting away with murder in the modern day is much more difficult. The two characters are separated by more than a century, but they're only three generations apart, and while it isn't known how much the modern-day Dutton knows about his lineage, we sure are glad to know where he gets his merciless nature. Their devotion to protecting their families shows that there are a lot of similarities between the two family leaders. Next, we have natural and economic disasters. This may not be a direct connection to the latter part of the series, but it definitely explains the huge impact of the economic recession that took place in the United States of America between 1882 and 1885. The country entered a period of slow economic progress between those years with a decline in railroad construction, and the supply to the banks gradually decreased too. This period of deflation for the U.S. had huge ramifications and is connected to the story of 1883 and consequently Yellowstone too. It is known as the third longest recession in U.S. history and resulted in the Panic of 84. Conveniently enough, 1883 takes place a year before that. We aren't saying that it had a direct result on the fortunes of the Dutton family, but it had some sort of effect on farming families like the Dutton family. In addition, there was also the eruption of the volcano Krakatoa in the Indonesian archipelago, which killed thousands of people during the same year. It caused sunsets to be colored for many days after the eruption, and the weather grew much colder too. Now, if you remember, the Dutton group was already concerned about traveling in the winter, and if it somehow got colder, it must have been a huge issue for them. Plus, this may have influenced James's decision to move to the West and sell their property, because most families did that back in the 1880s. Not to mention, recessions generally are very harsh on immigrants, and the Duttons were a victim as they finally reached their destination. Now on to the Yellowstone Ranch. This is something that you people would have already guessed if you were paying attention to the series. Elsa's death was a huge blow and was a tearful moment for everyone tied to the TV series. Elsa's death was a significant moment in the Yellowstone origin story. The eventual site of the Yellowstone Ranch within Montana's Paradise Valley was directly linked to her death. After a lot of contemplation and search, Elsa decided where her final resting place will be. There were many uncomfortable conversations surrounding the time issues involved as James and Elsa set out alone to find the perfect place for her to rest eternally. A few days into their journey, the father-daughter duo found a familiar expansiveness that they took a liking to immediately. Little did they know that this would go on to become their family home and legacy for more than a century and a half. But then again, the Yellowstone Ranch isn't just a home, it's also a growing graveyard for the Dutton family and others. Of course, it's a tragic way of finding something meaningful from such a tragic loss. But what better way to honor the ranch than by providing a meaningful place for the future generations of James and Margaret? Up next, the complicated tribal relationship. 1883, for the most part, has been a standalone story. Even though fans knew that it was supposed to be a prequel to Yellowstone, the show still has a huge responsibility of setting up some familiarity and connecting some important dots between the two storylines. Of course, for the show to not lose its touch, there will be dots that remain unconnected. But we found another significant one that somewhat explains the complicated tribal relationships of the Dutton family. The episode, The Weep of Surrender, shed some light on the personal relations between the Dutton family and the nearby native tribes. Elsa literally was smitten after meeting the native Sam for the first time and then goes on to marry him as well. This may have led to a deterioration of relations between the Dutton family and the native tribes because Margaret wasn't exactly thrilled at the prospect of her daughter marrying into the native tribes. Either way, Elsa's character holds a lot of significance, especially when you consider that she died 
dies by the end of the series, and maybe her role in the show was to link the paths of the natives with her family. This means that even if Sam's Comanche tribe doesn't directly relate to the Broken Rock Reservation, familiar to the Yellowstone fans, his relation with Elsa could prove to be a big part in the story. Of course, there's little to suggest that everything that happened in 1883 is linked to Yellowstone, but this connection is too big to let go of. And now, for Elsa and Beth Dutton. Hear us out before you somehow call it a terrible comparison. Yes, the first time Elsa came on in 1983, she was supposed to be the polar opposite of Beth Dutton, and fans were already imagining an alternate reality where the two characters could meet. We didn't get that, but we definitely got a clever link, and that's worth a lot. It's amazing to see that they share the same perspective on birds, and credit where it's due, that is clever writing if they meant it. Of course they did. Do you remember the teary eyed scene where we're taken back to Elsa's first memories that she revisits in the final few moments of her life. Elsa was admiring birds and their intelligence and the awareness to actually go out and hunt worms right after rain because the soil is soft. When she wakes up the next morning and sees a bird not far from her, she says the line, you birds sure are smart. That's when James wakes up and Elsa's not afraid of death anymore and she passes away. Ah, it's still super sad. Now let's take a look at the moment in Half the Money as John is being told about the attacks that went down in the third season finale. Beth fires a shot at an overly noisy wind chime, annoyed, and a bird nearby flies away quickly, regretting the decision to make its presence known, as it also gets shot. But do you remember what Beth says at that point? Smart bird. We can't help but imagine that it's a nod and a genuine connection between the two shows. Finally, we have the ominous warning. The biggest thing that connects 1883 with Yellowstone comes from the spotted eagle conversations with the Dutton family. It was an incredibly awesome moment when he offered his medical expertise and directional guidance to James, but it came at a price that he didn't understand at the time. James is a decent planner, but not in his wildest dreams did he plan seven generations, or roughly 150 years into the future. Especially when there's a dying daughter to look after, you don't necessarily care about what happens a century and a half later. The Spotted Eagle was easygoing by nature, and his sense of humor humor didn't look offensive or dangerous. However, he dropped a massive threat out of nowhere after telling James how to get out of the valley. He said, yes, paradise, good name, but you know this, that in seven generations, my people will rise up and take it back from you. James probably didn't pay much heed to the threat as he had other things to worry about, but he also didn't have the intrinsic sense of land protection at the time. This could directly be linked to Yellowstone, but as we know, there's a show called 1932 coming out which fits right in the middle of our timeline. There's a possibility that there's a lot of bloodshed. Some generations are massacred and there are huge surprises. Before we get to the Yellowstone timeline, but if the Spotted Eagle meant the seventh generation, then it may seem that Tate Dutton is the sixth and the seventh is currently unknown. Of course, a huge future of the series is planned and it could very well be something they use later on. That's a wrap for this video. Is there any other connection between 1883 and Yellowstone? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.